Breaking news. California Governor Gavin Newsom just signed a new law into effect in California that will make your life a lot less convenient and spike your cost of living. He says it's going to save the environment. No, it's actually going to hurt the environment. And we'll tell you why. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and every single time the liberals want more of your money or want to regulate how you live your life and make things a lot less convenient, they always say it's because they're coming to save the environment. The world is going to end. The planet is being destroyed. Give us your money and your freedom and we'll take care of it all. The sad reality is, the only thing we've seen from their crazy far left insane ideas has been a higher cost of living, less conveniences in our lives, and the environment not only doesn't get helped, it actually gets hurt. And so is the case with the latest do-goodery law signed this week by California Governor Gavin Newsom. Governor Gavin Newsom signed a law banning plastic bags. Now, you might say, well, hold on a second, Carl. Didn't they do this back in 2014? Why, yes, they did. They said, we're going to ban plastic bags. But actually, you still can buy a plastic bag for 10 cents. They used to be free. Now they're 10 cents. And of course, who got the money? The grocery train chains. But part of the deal with the grocery chains as part of that legislation is that the big union bosses, the grocers union, got a piece of the pie, a piece of the action. So you got charged for bags. Uh, the bags also were, were you know, the, the politicians said, well, these aren't just the same plastic bags for 10 cents. No, no, no. We're going to require that the stores make the plastic bags thicker so that you can reuse them. Now, mind you, the previous plastic bags, I reused them. They were a little more flimsy, but they were certainly fine to reuse. Uh, it wasn't just a one and done thing. They're great, by the way, if you have cats or dogs, wonderful bags for it. But those were done away with, the free bags, and these thicker 10 cents a pop bags were implemented. When this plastic bag ban was put into effect, our cost went up, our convenience went down. Oh, but the liberals said it was worth it. We saved the planet, the environment benefited. Well, actually not. In fact, the same asshats that brought us this idea, you know, the Enviro wackadoos, they put out a report after their idea of banning bags and then doing this 10 cent scam for thicker bags went into effect. And they said, oh no, oh no, we've actually seen an increase in plastic bag waste put into landfills. Well, hello, Captain Obvious. When you make the bags four times thicker, you're gonna have more plastic waste diverted to landfills. And in fact, the CalPERG, which is uh, the, the Cal Recycle uh, Consumer Advocacy Group, came out and said in 2014, you know, the year before the plastic bag ban went into effect in California, California tossed 157, 385,000 tons of uh, uh, plastic bag waste into the landfills. By 2022, it spiked 50% to 231,000 tons of trash. It went from being about four pounds per capita to nearly eight pounds per capita. Insane. Hurting the environment, hurting your pocketbook, and of course, making your life less convenient. So now comes a complete man. Newsom says, all right, fine. We're not gonna let you buy the 10 cent plastic bags anymore. We're not gonna let stores sell them. You're gonna have to go cold turkey. And of course, I'll admit, I don't always bring my cloth bags or my uh, 10 cent plastic bags with me. And so when I forget and I'm in a hurry, 
and I want the convenience of getting multiple items in my, um, you know, to my car, I, I buy the bag. I admit it. I'm just like anyone else, normal, trying to actually just live their lives, not trying to plan my life around the mandates and regulations of government, but just trying to live my life with some, some level of convenience. But the thing about liberals is, and I've said this multiple times, and it is a running theory, and it's a theory that is actually proven in fact. Liberals sap the joy out of life. They really do. They say they're joyful, but they actually take the joy out of life. How unhappy are you when you get into the store and realize, crap, I didn't bring my bags. And at least now your, 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 your hesitation is I've got to pay 10 cents per bag. And you probably buy less, which means the store gets less revenue. Um, Cause you don't want to have two bags. If you can cut down on what you're buying and just do one bag, then uh, all the better. Now you don't get the convenience. The joy is sapped from life. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, have to, you know, fiddle around with carts and baskets, or maybe uh, you have to buy another felt bag. So your cost isn't 10 cents. It's much more expensive. Liberals have no problem with you having a higher cost, less convenience because they like their smug, morally superior, holier-than-thou attitude of, well, we saved the planet. We told people how to live their lives. Oh, shut the blank up. Stick your nose out of our business. Because every time you stick your nose in our business, it costs us more money, gives us less convenience. And the very moral superiority that you claim to represent is actually undone. You actually hurt the environment. Uh, what's going to happen here? I will guarantee you it won't help the environment. There's going to be bad things that will happen. Probably public health, by the way. Uh, we do have studies to suggest that those felt bags get dirty and that there is a higher likelihood of bacterial transmission in those felt bags. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, that's why I don't use felt bags. Um, I like to use the uh, reusable uh, heavier plastic bags, but of course that's not going to be possible. Oh, sure, I'm going to stockpile a bunch of bags, but how long is that going to last me? Again, liberals ja just absolutely sapping the, uh, um, uh, 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 the, the joy out of life. Now, when you take a look at uh, how this came about, California is now going to be the only state in the nation with a complete plastic ba bag ban because, you know, uh, we like uh, jumping into uh, a pile of crap before the rest of the country. Uh, the rest of the country always likes uh, seeing California do that because then they know what not to do. Um, but if you want common sense, then what we need to do is change our legislature. And that means we have to break the Democrat supermajority in Sacramento and explain to them that we don't like it when they raise our costs, take away our convenience and hurt the environment in the process. In this election, the stakes could not be higher. I urge you to check out our voter guide at reformcalifornia.org, reformcalifornia.org, click under voter guides, and we have a voter guide for your area with a plain English description on all the ballot measures, plus endorsements in all the candidate races, including school board and judge, where people get very little information about those candidates. We did the vetting. We let you know who the freedom fighters are. Plus, please do contribute to our effort to get these voter guides into the hands of voters uh, as these ballots are arriving across the state. Ship in a contribution at reformcalifornia.org. We can take back our state from the insanity, do-gooderism, um, higher cost, less convenient caucus, the uh, Democrats uh, that are running the show right now. But we can't do it without your help. So please share this video, like, and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and smash that notification button so you can stay up to date on all the developments in California news and politics. Also, please visit the website, reformcalifornia.org, for ongoing news coverage and to join one of our campaigns in the fight to take back our state. If you can, please sign up as a volunteer or chip in a contribution. This episode of Reform California with Carl DeMaio, paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly 2024.